Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more important topic in ethical hacking that is the ports, understanding the ports in a computer. So this is a very important uh, concept in ethical hacking because the hackers will use these ports to enter into the tar target machine, right? So what is this port? So port is acting as an interface interface between two computers between two computers or devices okay it will be acting as an interface so simply through this interface so the data will be transferred okay so the data will be transferred see example these ports are divided into physical ports and logical ports logical ports so physical ports so here coming to the physical ports so the those ports will be existed and and the data will be transferred through these physical ports okay so example for this physical ports are usb port HDMI port, VGA port, parallel port, right? All these are the physical ports. So through these physical devices, so the port will be acting as an interface, right? So logical port means a logical connection. So this is a physical connection. Physical connection. So in both the cases, the data will be transferred, right? So here it is a logical connection, logical connection. So there will be no physical connection. There will be a logical connection from one computer to another computer. So the data can be transferred either using the physical ports or logical ports. For example, if you connect the monitor to the CPU, the data will be transferred through that particular physical port, the VGA port. Through the VGA port, the data will be transferred from the CPU to monitor. Similarly, logical connection, through the logical connection, the data will be transferred from one system to another system, right? So here, in order to get the data into our computer, that can be done with the help of either physical ports or a logical ports. So the hackers will use these logical ports, okay? So our system is having around 65,536 ports. So in that many ports, the data can be entered into our system. So these, these are categorized into three types. One is a well-known, well-known ports. So where the port, so the every port will be having some numerical number. Okay, every port, this particularly logical port, right? Every logical port will be having numerical number, numerical number, right? So like that, around 65,536 ports are available. So among that, first one is a well-known ports, which are numbered from 0 to 1023. All these are the well-known ports, which are reserved for some purpose. So for some data transfer between two different systems. So reserved ports, these are also called as a reserved ports. Next, registered post. Registered ports. So these are meant for personal web server applications. Okay, and these are number from 10242 49,151. So, if the port number is in between these range, in between in, in in this range, that we can call it as a registered port. That will be used by personal. Okay, the vendors for a personal web servers they'll use these registered ports. And the third one is private ports, private or a dynamic ports, dynamic ports. 
So all the remaining, that means the numbers from 149,152 to 65,536, all the ports will come under this private ports. So these are the well-known ports which are reserved for a few purposes and the hackers will mainly use these ports. So some well-known ports are so I think you understood this physical port and uh, analyzing this one. So all we know about these physical ports. So now we have to learn about these uh, logical ports. So it is also a logical connection, right? So coming to some well-known ports. Well-known ports are if it is a 20 port number 20 and 21 that is used for file transfer protocol. That will be used for a FTP protocol, right? File transfer protocol. In order to exchange the files between a system and system, that will be done through these port numbers 20 or 21. And port number 23 is a telnet. Telnet. Just like our intranet. Okay. So if the data is exchanged in the intranet, then we can use this 23. The port assigned will be 23. So these are the reserved ports. Okay, so we can't change this one. So if you are using the FTP, automatically the port number will be either 20 or 21. If you are using the telnet, the port number will be 23. That means the data will be entered through this particular port number 23. And coming to the 53, that is for DNS, domain name service. Domain name service. And uh, coming to the 80. So we know the 8080 is a local host. That means HTTP, web services. For all the web services, the port number will be 80. So we are uh, uh, doing the HTTP request like 8080 port numbers, right? And coming to the 443, I think that is that comes with the HTTP, yes, secure protocol, secure HTTP. Right. So these are the few well-known ports. That means all are registered for this particular purpose. Okay. All are registered for a particular purpose. Right. So yes. So these are the ports, the logical ports, and uh, in the logical ports, the three types of ports. So the hacker will mainly focus on these ports, which are being used and which are being unused and they will gain the access of a system through this port. So if a hacker wants to hack our system, so what, what will be done? Some sort of malware will be sent to the victim system so that the in the victim system, once a malware is injected, so that malware will be replicated itself and it will be spread all over the system as well as the network. So, how the malware is injected so that will be done through these ports so in order to know what are the user ports and what are the unused ports and all the details of a port information so use a command called netstat 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 is a command to know the information about the ports network statistics Right, so if you use so this, you have to use in a command prompt. This you have to use in a command prompt, right? So if you use a net set stat hyphen a, it will give the all information about all the receiving ports, right? So this is about the ports. Hope you understood what is a port and what is the importance of port. The port is used to transfer the data. That can be physically or logically, right? So we all know about this physical ports because we are using some internet. I mean, we are using the system desktop. So we are connecting the monitors. We are connecting the printers. We are connecting the pen drives, flash drives, etc., etc. So everything will be connected through the physical ports itself. But there will be some logical ports because if you are using some uh, client server architecture, so the client will be sending a request to the web server and from the web server, we are getting the response. That means, so if you are typing some google.com in your computer, so that will be redirected to the web server, Google server. And from that Google server, the login page will be loaded into your system, right? That we call it as a response. 
So what happens here? Some sort of data is transferring from your system to server and server to your system. So that will be done with the help of these ports. So there we are not using any physical port, right? So there we are using some logical port. So that may be with the help of 8080 or a 443, right? The port numbers. So here the logical ports will be of numerical and all totally there are around 65,536 ports available among that well-known registered and private and dynamic ports. So hope you understood about this ports concept. So once you try this command in the command prompt and uh, share your experience in the comment box right so let's stop here and uh, if you enjoyed my session like my session uh, share my session with your friends and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much